Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? This is Armour of Forger um, on my Xbox uh, Series S. This is on my um, community server as well. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you get mods working, how to fix mods working on Xbox, because it can be a bit of a pain and it still is, even after I tell you this stuff. But I just wanted to kind of prove that yes, you can get mods working on Xbox and you can get them on a server. Um, this is my um, Conquest server. It's just the test server I have, and here we can see the the Black Hawk. So, like, if I wanted to, I could take off in that and go for a fly and uh, and use that too. So, let's come out of this. Oh, and obviously, I've got access to the Games Master because I'm an admin on my server as well, so I can just spawn in whatever I like. So, let's go back to the main menu and kind of and I kind of show you um show you what you do got to do to kind of get mods working on on Reforger on Xbox. So, the problem with uh, uh, mods on Xbox is the way that the Xbox has to store the mods when it downloads them So unlike on a PC where you've got gigabytes and gigabytes of storage and you can just download them and um, Normally say Steam would have would have sorted it out in say Armour 3 and then uh, in Reforger and I guess in Armour 4 Armour will sort it out But there aren't really that many restrictions the problem is with a console like the Xbox or when it comes to PlayStation as well uh, Xbox and or PlayStation put lots of restrictions on the game about where it can save stuff and how much it can save and uh, how, you know how fast it can do this and, and different file structures as well so what that means is if you have lots of mods that you're trying to download at the same time or are trying to update at the same time often uh, the game won't let you and it'll say I'm out of memory delete some space or something like that and um, it'll you you get all these errors or you'll try and get into servers and it'll say can't start the server with these mods or can't get into them so one of the first things you probably want to do is you probably want to get rid of lots of your mods and the way the the best way to do this is go into the settings um, for, for your game so manage game and add-ons and what you want to do is you go into save data here and this reserved space so armor is given 10 gigabytes worth of save space for um, from from Microsoft to put all those mods in and if you're downloading loading lots and lots of mods with things like you know the ships and the maps you can use this up and it can all be gone but if you just delete that so if you were to select that and then delete it that would delete all your mods and you kind of be starting again then with mods but you know they download pretty quick don't they and then when you go into the the, the the workshop just really pick those essential mods you need that you want to play with you know maybe in the uh, in the game master or, or on the particular servers that you want to go on and just download those and really restrict it um, and then when you're downloading them so when you're selecting a mod just make sure that you only download one at a time don't download multiple mods at a time because that can lead to pro trouble. Also, when you get the updates uh, happen, um, so in the download manager, um, try and pause it so that only one downloads at a time. And this is another reason not to have lots of mods because if they are lots of mods, they'll all try and start downloading and that can lead to errors. Um, so as you can see here at the moment I've only got a few mods downloaded I've only got what six I've got better traces I think it's really cool the black cork the um, project red line I don't know why that's enabled it doesn't need to be enabled um, oh we're MH60 it needs it okay and then we've got a disabled I've got a capture and hold so I'm not playing it where am I I, I think where am I doesn't work at the moment um, and project red line which is the little bird uh, loach type helicopter so that's all I've got and then I'll, I'll use that when I'm playing in um, the Game Master or on my server because they're the only ones I have. And I guess what I'd say is if you're running a cross-play server where PC and Xbox can play, just minimize the amount of mods that run there. Really minimize it so that that gives the Xbox players a chance to uh, to be able to download those mods and play with them for um, in an effective and proper manner. Now, even if you follow these things of minimizing the amounts of mods you download only downloading one at a time clear that discretionary storage on the xbox you'll still run into crashes you'll still run into problems where it will say um clear some space if that happens often all you've got to do is just um come out um and just quit the app so quit armor for you quick uh, press quick quit so it re then restart it and often that will sort the problem out and then it will carry on downloading that particular mod 
remember it is very early days still for Armoury Forger. This is this is a uh, it really is a beta um, product, and I think the big mistake that that Bohemia Interactive made with the release of Armoury Forger was they made it a paid release. So and I think if something's paid, you're kind of expecting something to work. Maybe not perfectly if you're told it's a beta, but you're expecting to work probably better than Reforger has. And I think maybe that it should have just been an alpha free release, um, and then we could have probably put up with these different things. But because you had to pay 25 quid for it, um, especially with Xbox players, we were probably thinking about PUBG when it came out. And when that came out, we had to pay 25 pounds for it, and it was um, on a, a game, game preview. But you could play it, although it did crash every four games. You could play it, where obviously with Armour Forge you've had lots of problems that have really eaten in to the player base. But it is getting better. Um, we've got, you know, we've got the two maps. Have we got three maps now? We've just got two maps. Um, they're adding in more stuff. We're going to be getting heli official helicopters very soon, um, and um, we can see the path that Bohemia Interactive are taking with Armour Forge on console specifically. You know to shape this so that when armor 4 comes out that's going to be on on whether it's this this range of consoles or it's the next ones but but bohemian interactive would be ready for that and i think one of the really cool things about armor forge and being involved with it and playing it with it even if it's not very much is you know use that but the uh feedback tracker uh, um bohemian interactive to if there is a problem so you can go on there and you can say what the problem is and we can all be a part of growing this game growing this platform because remember there aren't many games out there that, that support mods anymore um, and especially in a way that Armour do and Daisy do and Armour Forger do where you can have create complete maps in fact you know Armour Forger as Armour 4 will be they're really just a platform for modders to create their own game so anyway so that's enough for me so hopefully this has been helpful if it has been hit the like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon